welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the heart of Portugal to explore the vibrant and historic city of Lisbon. Let's embark on this journey together and uncover what makes this city so special. Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal, is located on the western coast of the Iberian Peninsula, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and the Tagus River. Its strategic location has made it a significant port and a cultural melting pot throughout history. Surrounded by seven hills, Lisbon's geography is as dynamic as its history. Speaking of history, Lisbon has a rich and varied past. The city was originally settled by the Phoenicians, then flourished under Roman rule. It faced devastation during the Moorish conquest, only to be reconquered by the Christians in the 12th century. Lisbon rose to prominence in the Age of Discoveries in the 15th and 16th centuries, becoming a hub for explorers like Vasco da Gama. As we wander through Lisbon streets, you'll notice the unique architectural blend that defines the city. The narrow, winding alleys of the Alfama district retain a medieval charm, while the grand squares and wide boulevards of the Bixa district reflect the Pombolin architectural style developed after the 1755 earthquake. The city's architecture is a testament to its resilience and ability to blend tradition with modernity. Lisbon's weather is another delightful aspect of the city, with mild, rainy winters and warm, dry summers. The climate makes it a perfect destination year-round. Day and night, the city buzzes with life. From the lively street performances in Rachio Square to the vibrant nightlife in Barro Alto, there's always something happening in Lisbon. One of the busiest and most vibrant streets in Lisbon is Rua Augusta. This lively pedestrian street runs from Rachio Square down to the impressive Praca do Comercio, also known as the City Gate. Rua Augusta is lined with a plethora of shops, cafes, and restaurants, making it a haven for shoppers and food lovers alike. The street is paved with traditional Portuguese calcada, which are decorative stone mosaics that add a unique charm to the area. As you stroll down Rua Augusta, you'll encounter street performers, local artisans selling their crafts, and a variety of eateries offering both local and international cuisine. This street is not only a commercial hub but also a cultural artery that showcases the dynamic life of Lisbon. Rachio Railway Station in Lisbon is a historic train station known for its distinctive Neo-Manuline architecture. Located near Rachio Square, it was designed by José Luis Montero and completed in 1890. The facade features nine large windows, two horseshoe-shaped entrance gates, and a prominent clock on top. The station serves the Sintra Line and has platforms located underground, accessible via a grand staircase. Rachio Station is both a key transportation hub and an architectural landmark in Lisbon. One of the city's most stunning avenues is Avenida de Liberdade. This tree-lined boulevard is home to high-end shops, theaters, and historic buildings, making it a favorite spot for both locals and tourists to stroll and enjoy the atmosphere. Its charm lies not only in its elegant architecture but also in its lush greenery and the historical significance of the statues and monuments that line the avenue. It's a place where the pulse of the city can truly be felt, combining the old with the new. Now let's take a short pause here to discover Fish Conserve Shops in Lisbon. Fish Conserve Shops in Lisbon are an integral part of the city's rich culinary heritage, offering a fascinating glimpse into Portugal's long-standing tradition of fish preservation. These shops, such as the famous Conservira de Lisboa and Loia das Conservas, showcase a wide variety of canned fish products that have been staples of Portuguese cuisine for centuries. The tradition of canning fish in Portugal began in the 19th century as a way to preserve the abundant catches from the Atlantic Ocean. Over time, it has evolved into an art form, with each can representing a blend of history, culture, and gastronomy. The fish, often sourced from the cold, nutrient-rich waters of the Atlantic, include sardines, mackerel, tuna, and even more exotic varieties like octopus and squid. 
One of the most captivating aspects of these fish concert shops is the colorful and intricate designs of the tins themselves. Each can is a miniature work of art, featuring vibrant illustrations and elegant typography that tell a story about the product inside. The designs often draw inspiration from maritime themes, vintage advertisements, and Portuguese cultural motifs, making them highly collectible items. These eye-catching tins not only preserve the fish but also capture the imagination of customers, turning a simple food item into a cherished souvenir. The aesthetic appeal of the packaging is a significant draw for both locals and tourists, adding an extra layer of charm to the shopping experience. The variety available in these shops is staggering, catering to diverse tastes and culinary preferences. From traditional sardines in olive oil to more adventurous flavors like spicy piri piri mackerel or basil-infused tuna, there is something for everyone. Many shops also offer gourmet selections, where the fish is paired with high-quality ingredients such as truffles, wine, or organic herbs. The attention to detail in both the product and its presentation reflects the pride and passion of Portuguese fish canneries. Visiting a fish conserve shop in Lisbon is more than just a shopping trip. It's an exploration of Portuguese heritage, where each can tells a story of the sea, tradition, and artistry. Now we are about to hop on a train from the city center to the port of Lisbon. Our first stop is Praca do Comercio, also known as Lisbon City Gate. This grand square is bordered by impressive buildings and opens up to the Tagus River. It's a symbol of Portugal's rich maritime history and a perfect starting point for our exploration. Cruises from Lisbon Port offer an exciting gateway to explore the Atlantic, Mediterranean, and beyond, with routes that often include stops in stunning destinations such as the Canary Islands, Madeira, Spain, and Morocco. Lisbon's port, located near the historic city center, provides easy access for travelers to embark on their journeys while enjoying the rich cultural heritage, scenic views, and vibrant atmosphere of Portugal's capital. Modern facilities at the port ensure a smooth and comfortable experience, making it a popular departure point for both European and transatlantic cruises. The port's proximity to major European and Atlantic routes also makes it an ideal starting or stopping point for a diverse range of itineraries, attracting numerous international cruise lines and boosting the city's tourism industry. The statue in front of Lisbon's Arco de Rua Augusta, known as the Statue of King José I, is a prominent monument located in the center of Praca do Comercio. Erected in 1775, the statue honors King José I, who ruled during the devastating 1755 earthquake and oversaw the rebuilding of Lisbon. The bronze statue depicts the king on horseback, symbolizing strength and leadership, with a powerful image of a horse trampling serpents beneath its hooves representing the defeat of evil. This monument, surrounded by the grandeur of the square and the triumphal arch, serves as a significant symbol of Lisbon's resilience and renewal. Next, we make our way to the iconic Lisbon Castle, also known as Castelo de São Jorge. This medieval castle offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the river. Originally built by the Moors in the 11th century, it served as a royal palace after the Christian reconquest. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction where visitors can wander through the ancient walls, towers, and gardens, and learn about Lisbon's storied past through its museums and exhibits. Lisbon's Castelo de São Jorge is a historic fortress with origins dating back to the 1st century BC, originally fortified by the Romans. 
It was later expanded by the Moors in the 11th century before being captured by King Afonso I during the Christian Reconquista in 1147. From the castle, we walk to the Padrão dos Descobrimentos, or the Monument of the Discoveries. This striking monument was built in 1960 to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the death of Prince Henry the Navigator. Shaped like a ship's prow, it features statues of important figures from the Age of Discoveries, including Vasco da Gama and Ferdinand Magellan. The monument celebrates Portugal's pivotal role in global exploration and discovery. The Monument of the Discoveries is located along the Tagus River in the Balem district, a historic area known for its maritime heritage. From its observation deck, you can enjoy sweeping panoramic views of the Tagus River, the surrounding Balem district, and the city of Lisbon. On a clear day, the view extends across the river to the Atlantic Ocean, offering a stunning perspective of Lisbon's maritime legacy. The base of the monument features a large marble wind rose, a gift from South Africa in 1960, which includes a detailed world map showing the routes taken by Portuguese explorers. This intricate design serves as both a historical artifact and a visual representation of Portugal's exploratory achievements. The statues on the Monument of the Discoveries in Lisbon represent key figures from Portugal's age of exploration, symbolizing the nation's pioneering role in global maritime discovery. At the forefront is Prince Henry the Navigator, holding a small caravel, signifying his leadership in the early exploration efforts. Behind him are 32 other statues of explorers, monarchs, cartographers, and scientists who contributed to Portugal's voyages, including Vasco da Gama who found the sea route to India, and Ferdinand Magellan, who led the first circumnavigation of the globe. These statues collectively honor the spirit of exploration and the significant impact of Portugal's maritime achievements on world history. Nearby, You'll also notice the statue of Cristo Rey, which stands on the opposite bank of the Tagus River. This monumental statue of Christ, inspired by the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, was inaugurated in 1959 and symbolizes peace and Christian faith. From the Monument of the Discoveries, you can see Cristo Rey towering over the skyline, a reminder of the city's spiritual and historical dimensions. It was completed in 1959 as a symbol of gratitude for Portugal being spared from the devastation of World War II. Visitors can take an elevator to the top for stunning views of the city and the river. In summary, the journey from Castelo de São Jorge to the Monument of the Discoveries not only offers a rich historical narrative but also presents spectacular views of Lisbon's architectural and cultural landmarks, including the impressive Cristo Rey statue. Our next stop is the Geronimo's Monastery, a masterpiece of Manuline architecture. The Geronimo's Monastery, or Mastero dos Geronimos, is a historic and architectural masterpiece located in the Balem district of Lisbon, Portugal. Commissioned by King Manuel I in 1501, the monastery was built to celebrate Vasco da Gama's successful voyage to India and to honor the Virgin Mary. Initially inhabited by the Order of Saint Jerome, the monastery quickly became a symbol of Portugal's age of discovery, reflecting the nation's wealth and maritime power during the 15th and 16th centuries. The architecture of the Geronimo's monastery is a prime example of the Manuline style, a unique Portuguese form of late Gothic architecture that incorporates Renaissance details and maritime motifs, such as ropes, coral, and other elements related to the sea. The South Portal, created by sculptor João de Castillo, is particularly noted for its elaborate stone carvings and statues of saints. The monastery's significance extends beyond its architectural beauty. It has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983, 
recognized for its historical and cultural importance as well as its role in commemorating one of the most critical periods in Portuguese history. As we wrap up our tour of Lisbon, it's clear that this city is a treasure trove of historical landmarks, cultural richness, and vibrant life. Whether you're exploring its ancient streets, enjoying the local cuisine, or soaking in the scenic views, Lisbon offers a unique and unforgettable experience. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Lisbon. Don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting travel adventures. See you in the next video.